Hi my friend and welcome to my tutorial. My name is Moala and I want to continue talking about before x dialog. This is what we made in previous tutorials. So if you haven't watched my previous tutorial, please watch it before watching this one. Now we want to add some other parts to our dialog. First, we made it center where here. So here we try to change the color and here we show it and here we make it center align. But making that center align is not what I want. So let's make it commented. And now let's see. Okay, this is good, uh, but it's, uh, you know, so close to left border. One thing that we can do is just making some spaces here. This is what I want, but, uh, you know, it's not a good practice <laughs> to make extra space here. The other thing that I can do is using this one and use padding. But when I say content, because I stored that in one before X view here, this one this one and this is the label actually this is the panel this is a panel as I told you in previous discussion and the first index is that label but this one doesn't have padding let's see get view zero padding I don't see it here because I need to cast it into a label now this is before X view I need to cast that into a label. So dim LBL as label equal to this one. Now I have padding. LBL dot padding equal to array. And then if I'm not mistaken, the first one is left part. So I say 20 DIP top 0 and the other part 0 so it's only about the left part let's see okay the same you can increase that to any number that you like okay but I think 20 is good number for it very good you can add a uh, padding to this one and you can change other parts as you like the other thing that i want to do is changing the animation duration it's very fast let's change it so we can say dialog dot animation this one duration let's make it 1000 now this is a slower you see it disappears and the duration is 1000 the appearing animation later I will talk about this but 1000 is a lot for this one maybe 500 the other thing that we can change is making the background blurred. Blur background. And this is Boolean, so we can make it true. Let's see the result. As you see, it has no effect because this one needs to be before showing. So let me make it. Let's make. Yes. Now I think this is before showing and it should work. Yes, as you see, the background is blurred. Okay, let me make it commented. Now I want to tell you how to make animation for appearing of dialog. Let's see how to do it. As I told you, this animation for disappearing 
the dialog. What about the time for appearing? Can I make a fade or, you know, can I change the duration? It's like this. You can say dialog.base. This is a before X view and that is about all part of this dialog. And you can do whatever you want. For example, set visible animation. How much time? Maybe 1000 to see the change. And I want to make it true. But before that, it needs to be false. So dialog.base.visible is equal to false. Now let's see. As you see this kind of, you know, fade animation for appearing of this dialog. Okay, now I want to make another animation, but because I don't want to type dialog.base every time, let's create a variable out of that. Before x views equal to dialog.base. And now I can say base visible. Okay, so this is fade animation. Now, what about if I want to, you know, show it from left to right or from top to down or other parts? It's by base dot set layout animation, this one. So it needs duration, then final left, final top, final width and final height. So let's make it for example again 1000 the left can be base left base top base width and base height okay now i want to change that for example from zero now i want the, this left so first I need to store it in one variable, the, you know, current left, and then I will change it to zero, then the current one. So so let's store this one there, here, and now this will be my final left because I want to change that I need to store it before okay now I can change that I can say base dot left equal to zero now it makes it zero and then it takes 1000 millisecond to turn it into default one which is we store it in this variable. Let's see what happened. Yes. Actually, this is too slow for appearing, but I just made it for you to see the difference. So maybe 300 for this one and 300 for this one is a better choice. Very good. So let's make it clean. So this is for animation. What about the result of this dialog? As I told you before, we can have a yes, no, and cancel. So what about my user clicked on yes, clicked on no, and clicked on cancel? Can we get that? Yes. Let's see. We want to know the result of the dialogue. First, let's create our responses. Yes, no, and cancel. Like the default, you know, yes, no, cancel. And now I want to know whether 
the user clicked on yes, no, or cancel. While showing that, we need to store the response in an object. Dim response as object. And now this one will tell us, but the time. Oh no, let me show you. How much time your user needs to click on this one? You don't know. So you need to wait for his answer. Well, now he's reading the text and now he's clicking on no. Okay. So here I need to wait. Wait for. I hope that you are familiar with wait for. We need to wait for our response for this one. Uh, what was that? This one. And once my user complete this, I can have the response. And I say, I will wait for the response. When you completed that, give me the result as an integer. So I can know whether he clicked on yes, no, or cancel. Let's log the result. So we will see that here. Yes will be minus 1. No will be minus 2. And cancel will be minus 3. So this way we can check whether he clicked on yes, no, or cancel. So we can say if result is equal to minus 1, then, for example, tell me that a user clicked on yes. Okay. But instead of minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3, you can use this one. Dialog response. Cancel, negative, positive. So that was yes, and that was positive answer. So this way I can control whether he clicked on yes or not. For example, no, no log. And yes, this one. This way you can control the answer of your user. What about if you want to have custom layout? Let's see that in another tutorial. Okay, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed in my channel, please subscribe in my channel. And if you like to support my tutorials, please hit on that like button.